Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1148. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in 1147, the last video I did, Destiny asked this question here. I created an answer in a video, but I interpreted the question incorrectly, so the answer was completely wrong. Luckily, we hang out on an amazing online Excel team, Bill, John, R55, and Destiny herself all answered in the comment sections to give us a solution that will work. Now, here's our situation. We have inputs of birthday and current date and the hire date. And our goal is to use the rule of 80 to figure out what year they retire. Now, the first thing is if we have two dates like this, if we were to just flat out do year minus year, yes, it gives us an answer, but there's some dates that will give us the wrong answer. So we're going to use an old undocumented function, date diff. Now, notice when we're typing out in our formula since 2007, we've had a drop down that says whether the function's valid. Looks like it's not. When I type a parentheses, this screen tip pops up but it doesn't give you any help at all. Now I have, just for this example, uh, the, what we're going to have to do, earlier date, later date, and how many years, I have a reference video from a long, many years ago that shows you all the different amazing examples you can do. All right, here's the earlier date, the later date, and we want the years between. So we type a Y and close parentheses, date diff is actually from Lotus, undocumented because they don't write anything in help about it, but they still have it for backwards compatibility and situations exactly like this. Now, if this was the fifth, these formulas show the same. But again, there's some dates where the year minus year won't work. All right, now we need number of years of service. We're going to do the same thing. We want our earlier date comma our later date. Now, you know, the thing that always confuses me about this function is because when we're doing, doing normal date differences, we actually have the later date minus the earlier date. But for this function, it always wants the earlier one first. No problem, comma, y in double quotes, close parentheses. Now, the rule is going to be this. We're going to say equals 80 and subtract years of service and age. That number right there, when that hits 0, then according to whatever date it is, then we know that the person is eligible for retirement. Now, before we look at a straight formula, I want to actually do a cool trick here. There's something called Goal Seek, and here's some notes on Goal Seek. That's a formula, right? And the rule says when this turns to 0, that's the first day you're eligible for retirement. Well, notice something. To use Goal Seek, you, have, you start with a formula. And notice we have some inputs. Now, these inputs are pointing to these inputs. So ultimately, that orange cell in B14 is influencing how this formula is working. Now, remember, the goal is to get this equal to 0. So you can tell Goal Seek, which is data, what if analysis, goal seek, or going all the way back to 2003, the keyboard is Alt Tools Goal Seek. So Alt T G. Set cell always has to be a formula. To value, that's what you want it to be equal to. By changing cell has to be one of the inputs that go into that formula, set cell. And that's the thing you want to change, because I want to figure out, hey, What's today, or what is the current date, as if it were today in the future, that makes this equal to 0? So I click OK and check that out. 12, 20, 20, 37. So I'm going to come down here. Answer, 2037. So that's kind of a hassle to have to type this down here. And really, the, the year is what we're after. So here's the formula that Destiny gave us. We're going to take 80 minus the age minus the years of service, close parentheses, and we're going to divide it by 2. Now, that will give us how many years from today. So that's 23.5 years from today. We're simply going to add to that. And this was a Destiny's formula. Hey, we need the year of what? Today. Close parentheses. Now, today will change. It's dynamic. In fact, if you wanted this whole thing to be dynamic, 
right? So when you open it up on the day that says day zero, you put today right there, and, and that will change, always showing you today's date. Close parentheses, and boom, there's the year 2037. If you wanted to slap it all together, you could do those two dated ifs right in there instead of referring to those two years. All right, we'll see you next trick.